Hi guys, today we're going to be teaching you how to make these propagation tubes for your wall. We used to make a lot of bud vases using test tubes, and we have a few old ones, but we decided to make a different version um, so we can use it for eucalyptus or flowers in the spring, and um, we also are using it to root some new plants. So my brother had a bunch of plants that he wanted to propagate, and so I figured I would make a set that we could use to do that. So I cut a few three inch pieces of one by two poplar. So I'm gonna measure into the center. I'm gonna measure, it's three quarters of an inch to the center and I'll make a mark there. And then from that end, I'm gonna measure in um, three quarters of an inch as well. And then where those two marks are gonna meet up, they don't right now, but when I make them meet up, I'm gonna use a four snare bit that is the same size as the test tubes that I have. So I got 25 millimeter test tubes and that's what I have here. And then I'm just gonna drill all the way through this board onto a scrap piece of wood um, and then I'm gonna sand everything down. And then on the opposite end of the hole, you're just gonna measure to the center so it's gonna be um, three quarters of an inch the long way here. and then three-eighths of an inch across the shorter side. And then at that mark, you're just gonna pre-drill a hole through um, that's about the same size as the dowel screw that you'll use. And now you'll just put your dowel screw in place and then once you have them done, you can pre-drill holes in the wall where you want them to go, screw them in place, and then you can add your test tubes into the holes. So now I'm just gonna attach it to the wall, and I wanted mine in the kitchen by a window with good light. Um, so this cabinet is actually made out of wood, and it's like a built-in, so I am not gonna have to use a drywall anchor. I'm just gonna pre-drill a hole, and then just twist it into place. So they turned out really well and I'm super excited for all these little plants to be growing roots and get them planted. Um, so if you're into plants, we do have a million other tutorials on the blog, so I will put a link below and you can click over and check those out.